Hello, welcome to the demo for St. Bernard. Uh, my name is Sean Gubler. I'm a developer at Adobe. This app is designed to help you edit your Saint classification records. Uh, this is not an official Adobe product, and this app is in a beta state, uh, so there's no warranty or it's just basically use it at your own risk. Uh, St. Bernard is an Air application that installs locally to your machine. Um, I've launched it here, and this is the the first screen you'd see, it would look something like this. It would, would ask for your API username, your API secret, which can both be retrieved from the uh, Adobe Online Marketing Suite. Uh, if you're in a, or an administrative user, can retrieve it in the users area of the admin console. Um, it also requires an email address. Uh, that's because the Saint uh, API methods require an email address to send out notifications on imports and exports from Saint. Um, you can check the box to remember your your account. Uh, I'm going to launch this thing again. I've already saved a, a few profiles here, so I'll just log in with one of those. All right. So this is uh, Saint Bernard. Basically, uh, what you see when you log in, uh, these will load up on the on the left hand side, which are your report suites that are tied to your to the company you logged in under. Um, there's several report suites here. I'm going to expand one of them here and you'll see that uh, under each report suite you have a list of all the Saint enabled reports for that report suite. If I click in here to uh, the pages report you'll see that there is uh, some Saint data here. Uh, if you're familiar with Saint data there's always a key to the report and then there's one or more columns of classifications that you can associate to the key. Uh, this one has just a single, uh, this report has a single classification column called owner. Um, and here in the records view uh, for this, uh, for the, this same classification, you'll see uh, that all the owners are, are marked Sean. If I wanted to change that, maybe, uh, maybe we wanted to make the owner for half these pages Janet. Uh, you'll see you can edit the Saint records here. You can't edit the key column, but all the other classification columns you can edit right here in this editor. Uh, so I could set a few of these to to Janet. And then what would happen is down here, uh, I could upload, I click this Upload Records button, and it would send my changes, it would send this whole data set, or anything that had changed actually, uh, back to Site Catalyst through the uh, through the API, and so then it would show up in my reporting uh, once that had been processed in. Um, there's a key filter here, so if I just wanted to see uh, a subset of the keys, maybe I could filter on product, and now I'm just seeing the ones that are uh, have the substring product in them. Uh, it's a very simple filter. So, uh, you know, when I first come into a report, though, that has never been downloaded into this St. Bernard app, uh, it might look something like this. Uh, I'd first have to hit this download download records button in order to uh, have the all the keys available to start classifying. So uh, up here it tells me which report suite I'm working with and which report I'm currently working with. Uh, let's open up another one here. How about uh, campaigns? Just double click on campaigns and now you'll see I'm working in the campaigns report for this Googler Dev 2 report suite. This one has a lot more records and you'll see there's some paging uh, ability here to go through a larger set of uh, data. Uh, you'll see the first 5,000 are, are showing now. If I click the over arrow button, I'm now showing 5,001 through 7975, so uh, a couple of pages of data here. Uh, you'll see that these columns have not yet been classified. Uh, this one looks mostly classified over here, this channel classification. Um, so essentially, yeah, that's, uh, that's an overview of, uh, of the, the records tab and, and sort of this uh, navigation tree over here that takes you through the report suites and, and the various reports under those report suites. Uh, if you watch the second part of this demo, uh, you will see me talk about the stats tab and the bulk update tab. Thanks.